This is a 2018 KW T600 80 and it has a Cummins X15 engine and the issue then this has is then is missing coolant. We can see here clearly that the coolant level is low. You can see the red area which is the coolant and we are lower than the lowest level than the tank requires to operate. This is the lowest and we are right here. That is the reason why this truck is here. Of course, right, you're gonna get a check engine light and a, and a sign that says the coolant is low. Um, but uh, today I'm going to talk about what could be the issue. If you are getting this issue, so one of the main things that happens when you are missing coolant is looking for leaks. Right? That is the main thing we have to look for. But obviously, when you are looking for leaks, you have to physically see why you're looking at me. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. I'm like, oh. I don't know. <laughs> you're like, pay attention. I'm paying attention myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, one of the first things when you have a. The first things, the first thing you have to do when you are missing coolant is looking for leaks, of course, right? Then if you are missing coolant and there is a leak, that has to be fixed. That is very obvious. There's not much explanation about that, but one thing I will tell you then one I I had some so many trucks coming here because they have coolant leaks or missing coolant problems and they were leaking coolant only when they were on the road not when the truck was parked so that is something then we have to pay attention and how we're gonna pay attention is by marks usually coolant leaves these marks like this see these marks these are coolant marks so if you see any coolant marks across the frame all the way to the back or any component on the vehicle that means that you are missing coolant because it is leaking coolant so that is something that you have to pay attention don't replace components without inspecting that. If the case is then you already inspect a whole chassis all the front to the rear and there is not a single mark of coolant, that means then yes, there is an internal problem. Commons, the most common problems on these commons, EGR cooler. The EGR cooler is located behind the turbo. You cannot see it, but it is behind the turbo here and it goes to the intake manifold on that, on the back. It goes to the intake manifold and the job, the duty of the EGR cooler is cool down the exhaust gases that are going back to the intake manifold. The problem is then over the time, inside the EGR cooler, there are cells where coolant travels from one side to another and these break over the time and start leaking coolant inside this EGR cooler and the gases, because they're pressurized by the turbo pressure and the exhaust pressure, they are going to travel all the way to the intake manifold. And the engine is going to start to eat that. Easiest way to know if your EGR cooler is bad, of course, you're gonna see coolant on the rear area of the EGR cooler or you're gonna see stains, coolant stain in the travel, the piping of the EGR cooler. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but of course do not replace the EGR cooler without noticing then the EGR cooler is bad. If you don't have a leak, an external leak, and the EGR cooler is good, there is no a single leak in the EGR cooler, then your engine is bad. Why I say your engine? Well, over the time, Cummins, in this case, ISX and X15s, they use kind of similar technology, similar heads. They're very just here and there, but they are not totally different. So in that case, the cylinder head cracks over the time because it is a defect known on these Cummins ISX engines. So they start leaking small portions of coolant leaking inside the combustion chamber. And uh, over the time they cause a major leak because the engine is working at a very fast speed. So even though there could be one drop of coolant over one hour, it could be so much because the engine constantly 
grabbing that coolant and burning it. So that is uh, the reason why you're missing coolant. But uh, all these reasons, there are totally different reasons why your engine is consuming coolant. It is up to you to find which is the right one so you can repair your coming side SX. Do not replace any component without seeing you physically, then that's the issue. When it comes to the engine internally, you cannot see it. Only You can see it only when the problem, the issue is, is a large issue. You, when the engine is, is starting to blow compression to the um, surge tank or the coolant tank right here, and then you're gonna see coolant dropping inside the combustion chamber. I demonstrated that in other videos where I actually insert an endoscope camera inside um, combustion chamber of a Cummins IS, ISX, in this case ISX-15, and the coolant drop was too large, I mean the coolant crack was too large, then the coolant was leaking without even, uh, didn't need the engine to be running for this coolant to be leaking. So that is, the thing so but when it comes to the EGR cooler and external leaks you can easily identify them if there is anything going on there and if there is any type of issue there repair it before going any further on repairs that will save you so much money and also is going to be a, a precise repair which is the important part because it's going to save you downtime and it's going it's going to if you are the mechanic doing this job, it's going to make your experience higher. But uh, this is just a conversation about it. I wanted to do a little video talking about the problems that you can get on a Cummins ISX or X15 when you are missing coolant. It is just three simple problems, but they're very hard to find if you don't know how to find them. But I gave you the idea on how to look for them, so I hope this video is helpful for you. Also, it's very important that you, in this case, if you get any type of issue, then the uh, engine is missing coolant, you repair that the fastest. Because if you continue on driving your truck with the same condition, probably that can be a greater problem, a bigger problem later, and, they can, and that can cause different other problems to emission components or engine internally, because the coolant is something that cannot be compressed. So if coolant goes inside the combustion chamber, it can destroy your engine in an excessive amount. But this is all I have for you. If you have any question, comment below. You wanna go to Instagram and look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. I have different stuff there you can see. Also, you can like the video, share it, and subscribe is very important so you don't miss anything that I'm uploading every weekend about these machines. Thank you.